Welcome to Explorer's Emporium. Today, Explorer's Emporium will be showing you the process that we go through when we uh, make green screen videos. You can see here we are going to be working with a, a 3D printed image of Explorer's Emporium on YouTube. Get it? Explorer's Emporium on YouTube. See the image? And uh, we put that on a green screen. And uh, so we're going to be doing some layering and stuff like that, making a uh, wonderful short little video. But you can see the process today. So the uh, the YouTube video you just saw us make a make it into uh, that that still image to about six seconds. Uh, a lot of my still images, and uh, anytime we have a text box that comes up. We usually run them about six seconds. It gives you a chance to identify the image really well. It gives you a chance to read through any text that we're putting on there. So you see us here putting in a text box. And we're gonna also make that six seconds long. <clears throat> we will uh, add text box in between each of the, uh, the images and stuff that we do today. This will allow us to uh, be uh, have written things down so if more things to learn and watch so there you go six seconds whenever you see me doing this I'm uh, doing the six second thing I'm right clicking on the image and then I'm selecting dur duration and I'm adjusting the duration so now we're sliding in there I want to put another text box between these two and you're going to see why we're doing all this as the video progresses. And like any project, you uh, you have an idea of what you what you want to accomplish at the end, but the uh, trick is to be able to break it into smaller parts and just take it one step at a time. That way, what would seem like a big project is uh, manageable if you just take it a little step at a time. So we got another text box. Uh, we've added a uh, volcano video there. The uh, volcano video is uh, from Pixabay. So now we're scrolling through and we want to add a green screen video of uh, the shopkeeper doing some shenanigans. <clears throat> There's that one. Then we'll add, of course, another text box after that, creating small breaks in between each of the videos. What we do is we move the uh, that orange line over, and that tells the software where we want to put that image at. Uh, the software we're using is Pinnacle, so we're using Pinnacle. Uh, a lot of the images that you see were shot with a Sony camcorder. And so now we've uh, got the 3D print video. We've got a vol volcano video and then we've got the shopkeeper video. We're going to be putting these things all together, assembling them, kind of making a layered uh, version of them. So we're putting them all together. So first they are just singularly, and now we're putting them making copies. And again, we're right clicking, we're just going up to copy all, and then we're going to that orange line where uh, control V, control V would do the paste. And now if you look at these two videos here, one is 15.23 uh, seconds and this one's 15.09. So I need to make that one a little bit longer and I do that uh, by going to time remapping, hitting edit. I'm gonna stretch that video. <clears throat> and I'm gonna hit smooth motion. And then I'm gonna go back down to the video and I'm gonna tell it how long I want it to be. So I can make this thing go really slow motion or I can make things go fast, but we're just gonna stretch it out. We were only missing by 0.14 there. So we had to make it just a little bit longer. When we do a still image, like the YouTube Explorers Emporium on YouTube, all we have to do on that one is just right click, go to adjust duration, and change that to 15.23. There we go, now they're all the same length. So now when they run, they're gonna be running together. Now the problem is, 
the Explorers Emporium YouTube right now has a, a solid green image behind it. So we're going to go into the editor. We're going to do the effect. We're going to do keyers. We're going to use that little green image. We're going to eliminate gr the green. So by clicking on it, it gets rid of the green image that's behind Explorers Emporium YouTube. But the funny part is there's another green screen image from the uh, shopkeeper there. So we're going to make those adjustments. Uh, color tolerance. I want to get as much as green out of there as I can. Um, I don't want any, I want a pretty soft edge, clean it all up. Uh, now we're going to the shopkeeper though. So now we're going to the keyers on that one. We're going to click on the green screen. And now you can see the volcano image behind it. We've got to make it a little cleaner. So we're going to change this to the uh, tolerance. We're going to put that to a 91. We're going to put the softness to 10 on that one. I think we're going to go back and adjust the Explorers Emporium YouTube to zero on softness. There you go. That'll get a little bit cleaner, sharper image. Perfect. <clears throat> so that looks pretty good. Now we have to have you know all those little uh, black text box. Now we want to add some text to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create that first text box. And we're going to set up our font, font size. Um, so that way we can just copy and paste it along the video and everything will be the same throughout the entire video. Uh, we're going to use some nice clean box letters using some fancy writing and things like that. Uh, some of the more artistic letters uh, are sometimes hard to read. So we like something really simple and easy to read. <clears throat> so now we're describing each little section so that when we go to render the video, this will all show up in the video part of it and you won't necessarily have my dialogue going along with it. So we just type it all in. We've added our 3D print. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to use that little arrow there to move my orange line to where I want it to copy at. I click there, I control V, so I print it. Now all I have to do is change what was written there and my font uh, sizes and uh, type will stay there. So now we put a description of the next frame coming up. That frightening volcano image that someone braved to go get. And again, this is from Pixabay, a wonderful resource if you need uh, some open licensed um, videos or pictures. So now we're going <clears> to <throat> right click one more time, copy. We're going to move that orange line again. There we go. Perfect. Control V. Adjust the text on that one. We're going to talk about the shopkeeper. There we go. And so the entire process, obviously, there's a lot of footage that we've shot before the actual assembly part of it. So this is a couple days work as we assemble all the video working with the different uh, green screens and things like that. A lot of it's just uh, just plain fun, which is wonderful. All right, so now we've got to put one more text box in. We'll adjust that text. <clears throat> Too much text. There we go. Working with softwares like this is really fun. And I, it seems complicated when you first start out, but uh, you just kind of keep working with it and you get better and better. 
right, so now we've got ourselves to a, a point where we've got our text boxes in, things are looking okay. We're gonna save. Always remember to save your work as you go. And I think we're gonna do a run through to see how this looks. So there's how it's gonna look when it, when it starts to render. There's our 3D print. Those are actually three separate prints stacked on each other. That volcano image is fantastic. Here's the shopkeeper. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. Good job. Carry on. And we join the layers together, and this is what the layers look like when you've got them all set up. <clears throat> and I think the only thing is we decided the words are still a little bit big. So we want to shrink those down a bit. So we're going to start doing that process. We're going to make the words a little smaller. So the Explorer's Emporium on YouTube is going to be shrunk down a little bit. And I think uh, adding a little color to that might make it look pretty cool too. So still the same process, right clicking, hit copy, Move the orange line to where we want it to go, control V, paste it in the spot, then we change the text. Excellent. One more adjustment. Shrink the words. This is where we're waiting on the uh, processor to catch up so it uh, can record the process that we're doing today for you. So now we're going to make a copy of what we had just done. So copy all, move that orange line, control V. Same thing again, so we want all three layers. Perfect. And last one, so this will copy everything, including the uh, time remapping and the duration and things like that, and all the adjustments that we made to the video. So these are all perfect copies. So now the only thing though, is we're gonna click on the Explorer's Emporium YouTube, and we're gonna go up to editor again. And with this, we're gonna go to size, and this here, if we have that little orange lock there in place, it'll uh, make both change at the same time. So that's a 60% reduction or 40% reduction down to 60%. And then we're just gonna move it up a little bit. So now it looks almost like a Hollywood sign on a volcano. And then the only thing we thought it might need now is a little bit of coloration. We wanted to kind of have a, a glowing effect since it's on a volcano. So we're going to go to color and we're just going to mess with the uh, temperature and tint. So we're going to add 40 onto that, bring it into the yellows. And we're going to do 60 at first, but I think we decided on 80. So we're going to make that a little bit redder. And then when we go back to the video, It'll have a colorized smaller image. And then we have to put at the end. Gotta move that orange line over. So you can see the letters now are colored and smaller. Excellent. 
excellent. Get that orange line moved over. Control V, perfect. And there we go, the last little text part. There. That should do it. And then we'll render it and then we'll be able to watch the actual video. We have rendered the video. Roll them. So there you go. Now we're watching what we just created. Be sure to catch our other videos. Thank you for watching.